Hi everyone. Okay, in this lesson, I'm gonna tell you about diffusion and what it is. Basically, in simple terms, diffusion is where particles move from where there's lots of them to where there's not many of them until they're evenly dispersed. Okay, so I've got an example here. We've got a beaker, right? This beaker is, has some particles down in this bottom left-hand corner. And what we say is this is before equilibrium, right? What we need to understand is that particles are not staying still. They look like they are in this picture here, but particles are actually always in constant random motion, right? Now, these particles will eventually spread out. They'll move from this area where there's lots of them until they're evenly distributed. So, let's watch that take place. So we had the before equilibrium scenario. And now we've reached equilibrium. Okay, one thing to realize is that even though we've reached equilibrium here, that the particles still move. You just don't notice it because there's no net movement. These particles are still moving around, but they're staying evenly distributed. Okay, now what we want to see is how does this apply to the cell? So here we've got our cell. Alright, now let's bring these particles back. Okay. Now with the cell, we say the membrane is semi-permeable. It's semi-permeable because it will allow some things to move across it and it won't allow other things to move across it. What determines whether something can move across the cell membrane is things like size and charge and whether it's lipid soluble. Remember lipids are what make up the cell membrane. So if it's small enough to move across the membrane if it doesn't have too much of a charge which stops it from moving across, and if it is soluble with lipids, it can move across. Now, I've set this up so that we have a high concentration of particles outside of the cell and a low concentration of particles inside of the cell. We call this a concentration gradient. It's where there's a difference in the concentrations. Okay, now it is as simple as the scenario that we looked at in the beaker. Particles will move from where there are lots of them, a higher concentration, to an area where there is less, a low concentration, until equilibrium is reached. So, remember, particles in constant motion, right, that movement will take place, and because it was a higher concentration outside of the cell, we end up with particles moving into the cell. It doesn't mean particles aren't moving out because they are, but the net movement is particles moving into the cell until we reach an equilibrium. Now, that exact same scenario can happen reversed, where we can have particles moving from a higher concentration inside of the cell to a low concentration outside of the cell by diffusion. Right, so it works both ways. It just depends on our concentration gradient, where the high concentration is, where the low concentration is, and that's where our movement will occur. Just to, to give you a bit of context, these particles here could be something like oxygen molecules or carbon dioxide molecules moving in and out of red blood cells. That occurs by diffusion. Okay, so that pretty much sums up our topic. Uh, I'll just give you this definition here, all right, so this is what we've learned in this video. Diffusion is the movement of substances from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. One more thing for us to know, diffusion is what we call passive. Put simply, that means it does not require energy. There are some other processes where molecules move in and out of the cell that do require energy. We call them active, but diffusion is not one of them. 
Okay, so that's diffusion. Hope this helps and thanks very much for watching.